Alright, what is up guys? I am back for episode number 5 of Need for Speed Pro Street. And, uh... <laughs> well, I'm already in the middle of a race day on this save because uh, this is my second try recording. First time I made the mistake of being in an Xbox Live party. Yeah. Not my best choice. So, uh... I've already got these two races done, it was actually not that interesting to watch. So, it's not that big a deal. Just go into the last race that I'm, or that we're probably going to have to do. I might have to do the drag race just to get the last bit of points. But, uh, yeah. It shouldn't be too bad. And, uh, also, I did do a lit like, smallest bit of work to the 65 GTO that I bought at the end of the last episode. Or whenever I bought it. And, uh, that is going to be getting used for, uh, drag racing, obviously. But it's got a set of stage 3 tires on it already, so that's pretty good. Otherwise, it's, uh, still stock. I dished out the uh, original rims though and got a bigger set of rear tires. Otherwise, yeah, it's dark. Take this cobalt. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm getting pushed. That cobalt just pushed me. What the heck? Dip. Yeah! Got past the Mustang. Come on, get past the 86. Past it. Past it. Yeah! Ah, crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. This car is already damaged, so. Whatever. Voice cracks. Okay, second lap out of three. Current with old best time by 11 seconds, just about. So, uh, let's see, this is also a flying lap, so that gives an advantage. So this time is gonna get better by. I don't know, generally, generally a flying lap is better by about, I don't know, two, three seconds. Sometimes more if you don't do stupid stuff like that. It also doesn't help that in this game, dirty laps aren't a thing, so... Oh well. Much better around that uh, second last corner, though. Final hairpin. Give it a spray of NOS on the, uh, well, nitrous. On the way back. And I did go and lengthen my gear issues a bit, so I won't be topping out at 127 like I have been, even though I've only got 169 horsepower. Which will hopefully be changing either next episode or the episode after. Once I have some money for uh, a new turbo and whatever else I need for this car. Because it's actually a really good car for track racing. The only car I can think of that would probably be better would be uh, an Escort Cosworth. It's just kind of worth it. Don't flip it. Thank you. It's always like the biggest worry is is it gonna flip? Is it gonna flip? Is it gonna flip? Nope, I'm safe this up. Like the way that this track is set up, because I just don't like slowing down for that corner. It doesn't feel right. And if I don't slow down and try and stay on the track, it doesn't ever really go well. 100 miles an hour over the finish line. Let's go. So, beat those guys by good 
I don't know, 15 seconds, I think. Made grand, which isn't much, but oh well. God, it feels weird being on the old 360 controller. Check my battery real quick. Half. It's not bad. <laughs> Five grand, we dominated. Stage two breaks for the GTO. Not bad. Uh, I am going to stay and do the drag race, even though this car isn't really ready for it. I just want to try it. Figure, why not, right? We're going to... Totally. Everything's stock on this car except for the tires, which means it makes no power. How am I winning? How is it that stock, just with the tires, I ran and about the same as what I did in the uh, stock cobalt? What? <laughs> Holy crap, this thing's actually good. Like, even just like this. Actually, I didn't see if I took first or not. Crap. Adrian Reed again. 335 horsepower in this thing. And, at least in my personal opinion, these stock tires don't look that bad. get on this camera because it's a better representation of speed. The heck? What the heck? I didn't let off the throttle there. Sweet. Adrian Reed is the fastest guy and I'm beating him by two seconds. That's not half bad. This just means I'm getting free cash. And a cobalt is my uh opponent here. Cooper, he just crushes it on the strip. That, that dude got a wet foot. And the reflexes that go with it. If you can't stand the heat, get under Ryan Cooper's car because he's on fire right now. Come on, there's a big show. Ran the same time as my first run. That ain't too bad. So, uh, a 1246, then a 1223, then a 1246 again. That's, that's actually not bad for a car that only has racing tire, uh, stage 3 tires on it. And they're Mickey Thompsons, which makes it even better. Okay, but seriously, nobody's talking about anyone except... And I broke the track record. Sweet. Alright, and uh, we can leave the race day and uh, spend, I guess, the rest of the episode customizing the uh, the GTO a little bit. Because that's the car that uh, requires the most attention at the moment. The, uh, the S13 should be okay for a little while. And then the... <coughs> And then the Roadrunner should be okay as well, because I got a stage 2 suspension set for that in the last episode. So, Pontiac GTO, customized blueprint. Uh, custom upgrade, we have 17 grand to play with here. Now I know that I got stage 2 Willwood brakes, so that saves some money there. Um, it's 14 grand for uh, better suspension. And because we have the stage 3 tires, I think it's a safer bet just to go... Oh, crap. Don't have enough money for a bigger turbo. <laughs> crap. <laughs> don't actually have enough money for really anything here. I, mean, I could go for a stage 1 nitrous kit. Um, go for a nitrous express nitrous kit. Leaves me at 12 grand. Suspension... 
stock manufacturing. It seriously can't just tell me the brand. It has to be stock manufacturing. I, I got 12 grand. We can go for a uh, a Wayland Roots turbocharger. Or root, root, a Wayland Roots turbocharger. Didn't know that existed. <laughs> a Wayland supercharger. Start boost low and boost high. Nitrous pressure high. Nitrous jetting flow rate high. Brake bias is fine. Uh, don't have anything I can do with the suspension. Uh, low, or sorry, high. Fr eh, just leave it. I'll, I'll just leave it. Basic floors of tunes generally don't do anything in here. 419 horsepower. Highest trap speed is 131. Not bad. Upgrade the blueprint and uh, figure which one of these is shorter. This one's short. We can uh, come here to play around. Get the uh, get a bit more money flown in. I think this episode's gonna run a little bit longer though. As for visual mods to the uh, to the GTO though, I don't think I'm actually gonna do anything visual with it. I like the black; it looks good. Stock rims with the dish don't look bad. Um, the original body doesn't look that bad. If I did anything, I'd probably do a. Uh, I'd probably just go for the full Strata Speed wide body on it because that don't look bad either. But this don't look bad the way it is. I mean, the aerodynamics will help, but oh well. Okay, incredible burnout. Got a bit more power to play with now. Eleven thirty-eight picked up about a second off of uh, putting that stuff on here. Like that really isn't bad picking up a second from a turbo and a kit of nitrous. Oh, and some better brakes. <sighs> Face a tiny little Audi. That's actually probably really fast because I believe they're all-wheel drive. I actually can't remember whether it's all-wheel drive or rear wheel. I didn't think that'd be that slow shift. Still ran a 1208 even with missing the shift. Right, who's fastest besides me? Wade Jackson at 1567. Mm, it could be worse. <laughs> Alright. I'm oh, sorry, an Audi S3 is what it is. And then there's the two 240s going head to head while I'm here facing an Audi. It's like, hmm, I want to face an S13 in this. Eleven twenty nine. Yes, I picked up my time from the first run, or I picked up on my time from the first run by point nine ish. Yeah, by point nine. <sighs> and I do believe that's a track record broken. If only I had an adjustable transmission. Give myself a five speed, a bit more top speed. Oh well. Oh, that was a track record, yes. Yes. Alright, so I gotta beat Bradley Hunter's half mile record. And then do the grip races in the uh in the S thirteen. And uh we'll be good. Okay, this time we're facing a VW golf. 
let's see what we can do here. I'm not going to bother running nitrous for this. I say that. 1781. It's better than everyone else. <sighs> I still feel like if I had a better transmission to get a bit more gearing in this thing, it would, uh, it would run a bit faster because it's just topping out at 149 and that's slow. And uh, for those wondering, yes, I'm going to be doing every single event uh, in this section before Super Promotion. So, yeah. Like, if you guys see in an episode that I unbox Super Promotion, it, it's not going to actually get done until I've completed every uh, race day, well, dominated every race day on the, uh, on the map. And that picked up my time by, like, point nineteen. Yeah, point nineteen. Not bad. So, we have, after this event, two more events to, uh, progress onto the dom- oh, onto the show- oh, down and it's the first showdown, Showdown Chicago. So, we're racing down at the airfield. And Showdown Chicago is actually pretty fun. Uh, there aren't any drift events. So that kind of stinks. Won't be able to use the Roadrunner until after that. And I know for a fact that I'm going to be receiving a Pontiac GTO, the newer one, from the React Team Sessions. <clears throat> after the first showdown. So, that'll be interesting. Well, I have the choice of either a GTO or a G35. Uh, I'm going to be taking the GTO and probably converting it into a speed car. And we have 7,050 points to dominate. I bro we broke both track records, better in the quarter mile than in the mile, but still not bad. And then we'll go and do the first grip race rather than the time attack, just because either way we're going to be uh, going pretty fast around this track. <clears throat> So let's see here, I see two Mustangs, an RSX, a Corvette, a Civic, uh, two Corvettes actually, and a Colt. Come on, Turbo OS-13. I know I don't have near as much power as anyone else, but I can do this. I can win. Because my braking's better. The beauty of maxing out your handling before your top speed, you can corner so much better than any of the AI. At least at this level. pretty sure that uh I can't remember actually I'm gonna have to check the uh, the race date map but uh I'm pretty sure that we have already been invited to G effect which is the grip race uh, 
boss level, I guess, is the best way to explain it to those who don't know what it is. It's grip racing. It's solely grip racing. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that we've already been invited to go to that for, uh, this. And if that's the case, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and max out the S13 all the way and, uh, get that prepped to go to G Effect and beat Ray Kreger, hopefully, with the starter car. Because I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Uh, beat Ray Kreger with the starter car. Like, actually left it as a grip car, because most people think, ooh, it's an S13. I can build it into a drift car. Or possibly a dragster, for those who want to be a bit different. But I actually think S chassis are quite good for uh, being grip cars. I mean, the, the layout is very nice for this. And uh, let, let's face it, it, it's grippy and it looks nice. I mean, who wouldn't want to stare at that? It's a beautiful car. And hit the nitrous. 134. Not bad. Okay. Thank goodness that there's only one straight where I have to deal with the rev limiter. Whew, that's actually really loud. Now, uh, guys, I will actually uh, say this now. Uh, if you want me to, uh, if you want me to start up a new series, like a new game, uh, whether it be an older game on the 360 or a, uh, a game on the Xbox One, just go and uh, suggest it. I don't, like, I'll look at it and see like, if I have the game. I'll probably do it as long as the story ain't too bad. And uh, if I don't have the game, depending on. Uh, what the game is, I might go and take a look into getting it in the near future and doing a series on it. Because, like, doing one series isn't that bad. But, uh, I would like to expand what I do. <clears throat> I mean, let's see here. I know that this is going to be going up on Thursday. So, by the time that this video goes up, uh, it'll be two days since the, uh, the new series... I'm starting with uh, Dan goes up, so like, I just want to expand what I'm, what what I'm doing for the channel. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to do extra compared to uh, what I'm doing now because scheduling, uh, recording isn't the easiest thing to do all the time, <laughs> especially with uh, joining up into a. I, I think it's like a top six is what we're doing with the people we got a top six drag list on Forza Motorsport 7. So I got that going on and some other stuff. But um, yeah, let's go to the garage real quick, see what kind of money we got to play with. 18 in grand, $480. So I think what we're going to do is go and once more put it towards the GTO or at least if we can afford enough stuff or afford stuff for the GTO I mean I, I would much prefer to actually go and get a proper suspension on here and it's 24 for the proper suspension um how much for proper forced induction don't have enough cuz like, if there's enough for it I would love to uh, get a a stage three Wayland roots charger, but oh well, we can do that in the next episode. Uh, nitrous is fine. Body, body kit. So as I was saying, I think the only kit, like the only thing I'd put on this car for a kit would be this, the Strata Speed wide body, and just leave it the way it is, like not actually alter anything, because it doesn't look that bad. 
I mean, other than the single exhaust, and I'd go and put a wheel on it. But otherwise, I don't believe that there'd be anything else for me to put on it. I mean, stock this car looks nice, even with the wait with the, the dualies and everything. It's a nice car. I quite like it. But um, well, let's go and see what other cars or what other stuff that we could work on. Get up on the or get on the 240 real quick and uh, stage three Raxels drivetrain, stage two turbo. So we could go for a Turbonetics turbo or a, or a Jackson Racing. I I'm feeling the uh the Turbonetics here. So that's 18 grand down. All right. And then the big thing that we'd be doing would be a, a comp cams engine once we have 45,000. So otherwise, stage 3 uh, KYB suspension, stage 3 bear brakes, uh, and I believe stage 3 Michelins, yeah. Uh, we got the stage 2 Edelbrock Nitrous, uh, which will eventually be upgraded to a stage 3 Nitrous Express system. Blah, blah, system. And that's about it, actually, for this. Uh, I will go in here and tune the new turbo to uh, get us a bit more power. So, let's dyno test it. 181 horsepower and 193 foot-pounds. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't even realize that. Our peak torque is higher than peak power. I didn't even realize that. But, uh... Let's see here. Gonna go and check one thing real quick. Here, crap. Career map. Hide details. Shift here. Right, so yes, I was correct. We have been invited to G Effect. So what we'll do is we'll go and max out the... Uh, we'll go and max out the 240. Possibly pick up another car. And uh, we'll head down to G Effect. We're at 7 out of 10 records at the Portland Speedway. So, or for Rogue Speed, which is drag racing. So we'll see about that. With the GTO, we're gonna need to uh, make it a bit faster. Um, drifting, we're nowhere near close. Nitro side, which is speed events, we're really nowhere close to that. So, yeah, I think that that will be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll be tackling the Chicago Airfield 2 and the challenge at Texas Motor Speedway. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.